Oh yeah, that's a face you can trust. Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates, Monkeyan. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front here, we have some evil symbolage going on there, Thundercats logo, his name is Monkey, and on this side, nothing, on this side, nothing, on the top, Ultimates, on the bottom, words, things, barcodes, on the back of the box, Thundercats logo again, and then we remove the slip cover, and inside is where the figure resides, Thundercats logo again, nothing else on the sides. On the back of the box, you have a nice image there of Monkeyan, and a bio if you want to read it, and that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have Monkeyan, the leader of the Monkeyans. What a coincidence. But yes, some more Super 7 Thundercats goodness, and here we have the Monkey Man himself. So let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chiseled abs, but at that noggin. There's that noggin. You can see a very nicely done head sculpt, and that's just a face that screams, ah! <laughs> you know, it just does all kinds of that. But anyway, um, yeah, nice paintwork there on the helmet. Nice paintwork on the eyes there as well. The mouth is painted in, the inside of his mouth is painted. Some nice detail there on the hair. Looks quite good. Got the little arm wraps there on either side. There's loincloth. <laughs> Again, you got the wraps going around his leg. And all in all, some very nice detail going on here. As you can see, lots of sculpted detail. His big old feet. He needs to clip his toenails. He just needs to clip them. A little spike here, picked out in a gunmetal gray. And the monkey booty. Again, some nice detail back here. He has a hairy back, but that's okay. But all in all, though, a very, very good looking figure in my opinion. Now, articulation wise, um, the head is on a ball joint, but just due to all the hair and everything, you don't get too much movement, not really any wiggly waggly. You can look up ever so slightly, look down a little bit. Head can rotate, but again, not too much just due to all of this, all the shoulders and all that going on there. Just a lot of hair, so it all just kind of gets in the way, but you can get at least a decent turn there out of the head. Um, the arms can rotate, they can do a full 360, you just have to kind of work around the, uh, the hair there on his shoulders, um, inward and outward. Again, you get a good range of movement there. You get bicep rotation. You get uh, slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Uh, you do have wrist rotation. The hands can also move in and out. You got waist rotation. You also have an ab crunch. Get some crunchage going on there. Get a little bit of an arch. Legs can move forward that far, back that far. This is rubber, so it will move out of the way. Get back that far. Outward, you can pretty much do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You get a bit under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet. They can move up, they can move down. And you have ankle tiltage. I don't know, one more joint here. You also get uh, rotation like right below the knee as well, which is kind of weird because legs don't work that way. But hey, you know, whatever. It's a thing that moves if you need it to move. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, you do get some optional hands. You get a pair just kind of open posed hands there, just kind of clawing at you, reaching for you, grabbing you, whatever. Um, you also get an alternate pair of weapon holding hands. Now, the ones that are on him right now, they have the hinge that moves in and out. And with these weapon holding hands, you have the hinge that moves up and down. So you have some variation there with your weapon holding. You also get his shield done in brown and black with some gold right there for the face painted on both sides. Quite nice. You get a blaster. Very simple, cartoony looking blaster there. And you also get his mace. 
just done in gray and brown with some silver there on the handle on a metal chain so you can whip it around and lastly but not leastly you get an alternate head sculpt with the mouth closed so if you don't want him screaming all the time you can have him not screaming all the time and you just rip his head off pop the new head on and there you go now he is a more serious monkey man Sometimes getting these heads popped on is a little bit of a chore, but there we go. There you go. Now he's not so angry. Now he's just now he's just thinking about killing you. And there he is, armed up and ready to go. And of course you can have him wielding the blaster as well. The hand does hold it nice and securely also. So you can do what you want there. As always, options are good. And for comparison, we'll bring in Lion O. So you can see how they look together. And here is Mumra. So you can see how they look side by side. So there you go. So there you have Monkeyan. And uh, yeah, nicely done figure in my opinion. Great sculpting, great detail. The paintwork is quite good. Articulation in the head is very limited just due to all the hair that's around it. But you know, it is what it is. But all around, though, it is a very solid action figure here. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Super 7's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Thundercats playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates Monkeyan, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be geek, be proud, palm in your face. You failed me yet again, Monkeyan, you fool. You should watch your tone, Mumra. <laughs> I may overthrow you someday. <laughs> oh, please, you can barely fling your poo accurately. Hey, it gets in my eye sometimes. <laughs>